become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here today we're going to look at some of the most effective exercises which silver and golden era bodybuilders used for developing forearms of steel as many of us understand, one can have a strong back and legs, but weak gripping power is always a handicap as it limits our ability to lift heavy poundages. This article written by legendary bodybuilder Abe Goldberg describes several unusual yet effective exercises which can all be done using basic equipment such as dumbbells, barbells, a basic bench and even cables to develop strong muscular forearms. Enjoy! Now the following forearm workout requires you to perform the listed five exercises, performing three sets of 10 reps for each exercise, including the gooseneck bent over curl, a classic from the golden era, the Zotman curl, another well-practiced exercise for developing massive forearms, the standing pulley wrist curl, the barbell wrist curl, another standard exercise for developing the forearms, and an unusual one called the lying bench wrist curl. Again, all of these exercises to be performed for three sets of 10 reps and make sure as the author says make sure that the forearms scream because they definitely can take it we use our forearms every day so they can take a really good punishment such as this particular workout now the first exercise listed is the gooseneck bent over curl, a favorite amongst many silver and golden era bodybuilders. And you want to perform this exercise as a warm up to the rest of the workout. You grab a dumbbell, assume the position as shown, that is stand next to a bench and bend over, support yourself with the other non-exercising hand, grabbing the bench at the end and curl upwards. That is, you're going to be holding the dumbbell in a pronated arm position and you want to curl upwards and work the extensors of the forearms performing three sets of 10 reps. The next exercise, the Zotman dumbbell curl. This is a classic as well. You want to hold both dumbbells at the thigh to start and it's very much an alternating curl but the curls are performed in a circular fashion as I'll describe now. You curl the first dumbbell so you're going to work one arm at a time. You curl one dumbbell towards the outer side of your body and your palm should be supinated as shown in the diagram. So you're curling towards the outside of the body with your palm supinated. As the first dumbbell reaches the shoulder, you then rotate the palm so that it is now pronated and you bring the dumbbell across your chest as you bring the dumbbell down. So this is a full circular motion. As you start bringing that first dumbbell down, you simultaneously curl the second dumbbell up Again, outside the body, palm supinated, and continue to curl in an alternating circular fashion, performing three sets of 10 repetitions. The next is a very simple exercise, the pulley wrist curl, but very effective for working that meaty part of the forearm where your flexor muscles sit. You face a war pulley as shown, like a cable station. You bring the pulley down straight by your side and you curl the wrist up high and behind you, lower and repeat, work the forearm flexors as you do. And then you repeat on the other hand, performing three sets of 10 reps for each hand. The fourth exercise is the barbell wrist curl, a standard exercise for the golden and silver era. And you want to sit on a bench as shown with a barbell, hands pronated. So you're going to be working the extensors again. You rest the forearms on the thighs and knees as shown. And you raise the wrist as high as possible, lower and repeat for three sets of 10 repetitions. The final exercise, a really unusual one, I haven't seen this one before here performed by Abe Goldberg. You grab a barbell with your hands pronated and you want to lie on a bench facing up. So now that you're in the correct position, you extend your arms overhead so that they hang off the end of the bench. Might not be that clear in this diagram, but that's what you do. And you let the wrists drop and as you do, you can then begin to curl the weight. So it's actually going to work the flexes again. A very different angle, an unusual exercise, but quite effective. Lower and repeat, perform for three sets of 10 repetitions, and that is the forearm workout. Now, in case you're interested in learning more about forearm training as performed in the golden, silver, and bronze era, that is even the strongman era, uh, please head to my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, where you're going to find a selection of booklets on developing the forearms, including Molding a Mighty Grip, which was written by George F. Jowett, a classic which involves 
barrel lifting exercises and a whole other range of bizarre exercises that's going to really help develop strong, powerful hands, wrists and forearms. And another great book is How to Develop a Powerful Grip by Edward Aston, a strongman from the Bronze Era. These guys were known for incredibly strong grips and super strong forearms. You've probably seen images. Uh, yeah, so again, a different set of exercises given in this particular book. Some great books here. Uh, on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com for developing the forearms. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on developing the forearms. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and leave me your comments. To support the channel, please donate via PayPal, become a patron, and visit my respective websites for how to print books and courses on old school bodybuilding, as well as merchandise. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Deronda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code bookworm12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.